Hello everyone, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I want to show you how to get unlimited Dolly 2, or whatever the latest version of Dolly is. You're going to get free generations. They are unlimited, although after about 100, it tends to slow down if you're going a little too ham on it. But here we go. All right, so the first step here is you want to go to bing.com, and then strangely, you want to click on this images little uh, link here. Click on images up here at the top. And when you do that, you're going to see a whole bunch of weird images. <laughs> nice family. Um, but click on image creator over here on the right side. When you do that, you now get to create images with Dolly. Not everybody knows that. And to be fair, Bing sort of hides it. It should be on the front page, but it's not. You got to dig. Okay, here we go. So we are now in the image creator. I've already created two today. And you'll see here that I've got 98 lightning bolts. And when I hover over that, it says you can create images more quickly with boost. If you run out, image generator may take longer. What does that mean? You, I've got 98 or 100 fast runs, and after that, if I'm still going crazy on it, then it'll just start to slow down. So it's unlimited, although it may throttle the speed after 100. Okay, so let's check it out. First step here, you'll see here, I'm in the image creator. I'm just gonna go French Bulldog reading a book because I have a bulldog and he's half French and half English. So I'm gonna go ahead and create and click on the create. While I do that, let me show you here that this is now, like I said, this is unlimited and it's free. If you were to go to Dolly and go to labs.openai.com, which is where you used to have to go to create images, when I click here on the top right here, you'll see here that I have 15 credits by default and then I can buy credits. So we're not going to go here anymore because just using it through the creator here, it's free. And look at this, like look at this top left one here. This, I mean, Dolly 2 used to lag quite a bit behind Midjourney in terms of photorealism, in my opinion. But man, have they closed the gap. If not, they might have even caught up. This is a fantastic image. And if I like it, I can just click on the download button and bang, I have the image. There it is. It's mine, like I said. So that's step one. I'm going to show you another trick here while I got you. Notice that I'm in Google Chrome at the moment. And again, I'm on Bing.com. If I switch to Microsoft Edge, and yes, I know Microsoft Edge, people are using it now. It's a thing. If I did the same thing, and this is one where I created an English bulldog reading a book, it looks the same, but watch this. If I right click on the image, I can now do a few other things. And the one that I want to show you in particular is editing the image. When I click on that, watch this. I can now crop it. I can make adjustments to it if I want to make it brighter or darker. I can change the exposure, shadows, saturation, warmth, all that stuff. I can apply filters to it. I can mark it up if I want to put a pair of glasses on the fella. I can make some glasses like this. And here we go. I'll get some eyebrows in there. It's crazy. This is all free. This is all dolly. It is amazing. Thank you for watching.